possible to make a living from the arts. And the good living, the creative industries in Britain are thriving. In arts emergency alone, there are more than 4,000 professional people who have studied in the arts and humanities, who have learnt enough to want to share their expertise with you, to empower you and to show you that you have every right, whatever your background, to pursue an arts career. You'll get matched with a mentor, a professional artist, or somebody involved in the humanities who'll meet regularly with you. There's 12 young people from Ashton on the scheme now. There's no question too dumb to ask. And you don't need to have decided what you want to do with your life. I mean, that's a, that's a common misconception that you're born wanting to be an actor or a dancer. When you haven't been to a fancy school and learned all the world owes me a favour confidence and self-assurance that comes with that, you have to work hard on yourself. You've got to go the extra man. And that's what art does, you know, it brings people into your living room, into your consciousness. And so, you know, Haley for a long time became like the face of transgender, really. And I'm incredibly proud of what we did with that. I'm still learning and I'm still like, I'm learning on the job, you know, it's kind of still such a leap of faith. In Broadchurch, I had to do a Dorset accent. And you've no idea how terrified I were about that. It's just like, I just went to them like, why do you open my mouth? It's because they give you mumble, nobody will notice. <laughs> Everything's hard now. It's hard for anybody, for any young person to get a job in any area now. There are hundreds and thousands of jobs in theatre and film and radio and telly and all the digital stuff that's on top of that. There's a world out there and it is possible. I can't emphasise this enough. You have a right to pursue an arts education and a career in the creative arts.